everyone. Today we're going to look at conditional moving of data in Excel. So up here on my screen I have my uh, current data. Now this is brought in um, from the PLC into these two areas indicating a date and some data that we want to log or store. And it's conditional move because if the date matches the date here I have along the column then the corresponding information will then be transferred into this one beside it. So we have a little bit of logic here and we're going to use VBA in Excel in order to do this. So every time we have a change of the worksheet then we look at the target address which is A2 and we take this value and we're going to compare it to each one of these dates here. And if it's equal then what we do is replace this value um, with the data that's in B2. And that's about it. That's the entire pro program. So when we call up our our VB um, editor, Visual Basic Editor, and what we'll do is we'll put a using F9, we will actually uh, stop the process there so we can then walk through the program. So what we'll do is go back here and we'll change this to a value of 10. As soon as we hit enter, then our VB uh, assignment comes up here and then we can use F8 in order to scroll through the program itself. So we start our search for the data and to see what data we are, I'm just going to use the immediate screen and we're looking for um, February 1st, 2016. So we look at the first one and it's actually 1215 so that's not the right one. We'll continue using F8 and scroll through the program. It goes back, checks the next one and the next one was uh, uh, January 1st, 16. Keep scrolling and the next one will be the correct one which is February 1st 16. So it actually then writes that into that register and we can see that right here on our program. So we'll let that continue to run. So it doesn't really matter what to, uh, number we put in, it'll actually compare it all and then write the appropriate data. Alright, thanks for watching and visit our website at www.accautomation.ca